Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here with my pack dispensing robot, Packbot 3000, to dispense me some random MTG boosters and see what we get here just for fun. Uh, I'm gonna probably break this into three videos. I guess Packbot has three slots and they are filled. First up, pack of dark steel. Let's get going here, and we're, as always, we're gonna scan up the rares and anything interesting in the common and uncommon slots. Let's do it. We got from Dark Steel an Arcbound Worker, a Mystic, a Golem, some Bats, a Bola, and a Hybrid. And the uncommon is we got a Spectre Shroud. I'm going to scan that one. I don't think it's a super big one. It is not a super big one. We'll just throw it back over there. Dark Steel Gargoyle, Second Sight, and the Rare. Rebuking Ceremony. Three and two green. Put two target artifacts on top of their owner's libraries. Probably not anything crazy. You have to put all the, the artifacts on the library for it to be a really good card. We got Eldritch Moon up next. Got a Dragoon. Take inventory. Let's set up here a little more. Desperate Sentry, Recruitment, The Consecrator, A Mantle, Borrowed Hostility, whoops, Emrakul's Influence, Haunted Dead, and Give No Ground, and a Spell Queller, yeah, that's pretty decent. One, a white and a blue, Creature Spirit with Flash and Flying, Winner's Battlefield, Exile Target Spell with Converted Mana Cost 4 or less, it leaves the Battlefield to Exile Cards. Owner may cast that card without paying its mana cost. It's 371. We got a conduit of storms. A conduit of Emrakul on the back. There we go. I'm gonna move Packbot back just a little bit. Next up, Cold Snap. Alright. <clears throat> Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. We got a drill knock. Some sentinels. Whoops. Oriel Druid, the Disciple of Tevish Zat. Yeti, you got a Snow Covered Mountain, we'll scan that up. The Buck, goes in the rare pile, even though it's not a rare, we got an Ice Fall. Rim Harvest, some Mist. Martyr of Spores. Flash Freeze, Balduvian Fallen, Stalking Yeti, and an Orin Viper, one and two green. Whenever it deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature at the end of combat. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. We basically got Death Touch. And it's a buck 58. Alright. Next up, Magic Core Set 2015. Wall of Fire. Guard. Naturalize. Encrust, Rough Rider. I mean, you can see these card names, right? I don't have to read them all, do I? I'm gonna. Wall of Essence, Staff of the Wild Magus, Endless Obedience, Hushwing Griff, Two and a White, with Flash Flying, Creatures Entering the Battlefield do, Don't Cause Abilities to Trigger. Pretty good card right there. We got a Foil Crowd's Favor. Go into the foil part pile over here. All right, what else we got here? Packbot, Guild Pact, going way back here. Ooh. The Gruel Turf, Wild Size, Orzov Signet, Maverick. Train of Thought, Mage Mark, Harrier Griffin, Gristleback, Conjurer's Ban, and a Sky Swallower. I'm gonna scan. I'm gonna scan the ban, and there was no reason to do that. Sky Swallower, three and two blue and eight eight flying Leviathan. When it comes into play, target opponent gains control of all other permanents you control. Seems like not a great trade. Yeah, why not? And an Ogre Savant. 
Old foil looks pretty cool there. Next up, unstable. I love opening unstable. Get a nice full art land out of here, maybe. A blurry beeble. A wild crocodile. A chevalier. Capital offense. It's not capitalized. Just desert subcontract. Secret base. Garbage elemental. Druid of the sacred beaker. Steam flogger service rep. And water market. The land. Add two colorless to your meta pool. Spend this mana only to cast spells with watermarks. Interesting. A lot of cards with watermarks in this uh, set. And we got a full art mountain. Which is pretty nice. 248 for the full art. A rapid prototyper. It's a contraption. The cra contraptions are fun um, <clears throat> to play within this set. They're not worth like a whole lot, even as a mythic. And we got a foil brainiac token. Pretty decent. Alright, next up. Khans of Tarkir. Can I get a fetch land? Wooly Loxodon. Oops. Force away. A sandbar? What's a sandbar? Skull Hunter. Leaping Master. Goblin Slide. Roar of Challenge. Quiet Contemplation. And Utter End for two and a white and a black. Instant Exile Target Non-Land Permanent. That's actually pretty good. But it's been reprinted a few times. Right of the Serpent by Seb McKinnon. Look at that. Look at that art. And it's in foil. That's great. And we get a Sneaky Snake. Modern Horizons, or as my son likes to call it, Mordorn Horizons. It's because he's eight. Construct. Foil Construct. Got an art card for something. Face of Divinity. Snow Cover Swamp and the rare. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the foil. Spore Frog. And the rare. Plain Bound Accomplice. So Spore Frog is a pretty good common. Um, as a foil, let's just see if it's over a buck. $4.30. That's a winner right there. Plain Bound Accomplice for two and a red. Human Wizard, you can pay uh, red. You may put a Planeswalker card from your hand onto the battlefield. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. Well, that's probably combos good with uh, the new Ob Nixilis that makes copies, I think. Um, so it's three bucks. Feaster of Fools. Exclude. Conifer Worm. It's commons. We'll kind of go through these a little quicker. Settle beyond reality. Recruit the worthy. There we go. Alright, next pack. Onslaught. Another chance at a fetch land. <clears throat> Choking Tethers. Taunting Elf. Haunted Cadaver. Renewed Faith. Wave of Indifference. Crafty Path Mage. Crown of Awe. Yeah, Sky Raider. Seize Claim. I'm going to scan this one. And I don't know why I did that. You never know. Spitting Gorna. Baron Moore. Okay, I'm coming. We got a Death Pulse. Custody Battle. I'm gonna I'm gonna scan this one too. Nah, it's nothing big. There's our rare True Believer. Two white. You can't be the target of spells or abilities. It's a cleric. And there's a foil uncommon. True Believer is a buck thirty-eight. Heedless one. Uh, let's check it out as a foil. Ninety-five cents for the uh, regular version. Thirteen seventy-two for a foil heedless one. Really cool looking foil for sure. I, I like this the old style where the foiling was mainly on the uh, on the background. It's kind of nice. I should go back to that from time to time. All right, last pack here is a pack of alliances. Let's do it. Thanks, Packbot, for dispensing these packs to me. I forget the uh, the pack order here. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. I think that's the rare order here. 
I might be wrong. We got an Errand of Duty, Phyrexian Boon, Keldoran Escort, Oops, Fevered Strength, Whipvine, Soldevi Heretic, Gift of the Woods, Arcane Denial is a really good card actually. Uh, for a common, it's a buck twenty-seven. Elvish Bard, I believe these are uncommons. Oh my gosh! Well, that, these definitely are the uncommons. <laughs> this is the most uncommon, uncommon out of this set for sure. Force of Will, uh, three and two blue. Who cares? You can pitch a card, a blue card from your hand to counter a target spell. The classic. Not on the reserve list, but it is one hundred and twenty-eight dollars. And it gets a sleeve. Should I even bother looking at the rare? Yeah, you know I'm gonna. Force of Will. Well, that was worth sticking around for, right, you guys? Feast or Famine. And a Phyrexian Devourer. I think this one is, it is on the reserve list. For six, it's an artifact creature. Uh, Phyrexian Devourer's power is seven or greater. Bury it. You pay zero. Remove the top card of your library from the game. Put a plus X plus X counter on Phyrexian Devourer. Where X is equal to that card's casting cost. Let's see if it's worth anything. 17 bucks. That's definitely because it's on the reserve list. So nice little score out of my uh, my alliances pack there at the end. So thanks for watching. Thank you, Packbot, for dispensing these great packs. And we're going to do this again uh, in, in the future. And like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.